And I'm here with John Barkis, you're the Vice President, Manufacturing Industries. And if we talk about manufacturing, we think about Industry 4.0. Why should manufacturers connect all their processes digitally to survive in the future? Well, I think it's the way that will differentiate them. It's really the only way that the companies will be able to survive into the future. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all these business models and it becomes significantly more competitive than it has been in the past. Companies have to work faster. They have to be more responsive to what their customer needs are. And the only way really of doing that is to connect the various aspects of the business. They can't work in silos anymore. Um, and that really will give you the whole value of the business. And you talk to so many different companies. Can you give some few examples? Oh yeah, yeah. So, so um, you know, one area that companies are moving away from, they're moving away from selling products, right? So they're going into selling more services, which we've actually seen for some time. But what they're now getting into is these new models where they might be selling you know, products as a service. Mm -hmm. And so if you think about how do you sell a product as a service, um, the ability to support that is a lot different than it was before. And so connecting to that product and be able to, um, be able to anticipate um, activities or anticipate needs, anticipate failures, be able to monitor the, how it's performing, how the customer is using it, be able to expand on that, um, to be able to provide a better outcome for the customer is an important component. And what type of technologies you're really excited about if you see all these new developments and that lets really, really companies can excel in the near future. You know, it's interesting because I think in IoT for a long time it's been around, mm -hmm. but as companies start to enable it and start to leverage it more and more, there's just huge volumes of data that have to be managed and be able to analyze, be able to execute from. And so one of the technologies that's real exciting is this whole concept of AI. You know, because it really allows you to use that information, be able to correlate it with a lot of different pieces of information, correlate with the data that might be in your ERP, in your MES, and other sources of information, and actually provide some real value and provide a real outcome. It can now do some predictions where it would be actually physically impossible for people to do the same type of calculations that they've been doing in the past with this huge volume of data. So AI is one. The second area where there, there seems to be a little hesitation at the moment is around blockchain. Yeah. Um, but the, uh, the technology is there and people have been trying to identify how best to use it. And some of the use cases that are coming out now are going to be quite impressive. So I think it, you know, a little bit of lull was deserved. You know, people looked at it initially maybe did a little bit more than, or anticipated a little bit more than what was possible. Um, and now they're really starting to develop some good use cases. I think there's a lot of opportunities in that area. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.